Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another garden tour. It is currently July, which means heat, 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 hot, 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 crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, literally everything has gone insane from the flowers. Some are thriving, mainly this double raspberry cauliflower. The one my mom bought me that I love to pieces. It is the prettiest thing in the whole garden right now. So um, there is also a stray mama cat and her kittens, three of them. I have been trying to catch them so I can bring them in and get shots and maybe get mama cat fixed. She is not my cat. She's a stray cat, but this is the second year in a row I've seen her with kittens around my house. Um, so hopefully you will see them at one point. They're so cute, but they are not... They are not wanting me to actually get anywhere near them. I think I'm going to end up having to trap them to get them some help. So if you have any advice about how to help kittens, let me know. There's one right there. See the little gray one? There's the little orange one on the porch. The little orange one on the porch here is the bravest of the three. Then there's a brighter orange one. My porch is a mess from all the stuff I've been working on, but regardless, this is not a cat video. Um, unless I can somehow make it a cat video. I'm not holding my breath. So we're going to get started up by the tree. Uh, my arbor that my mom got me last month has fallen. It wasn't secured to anything. Oh, the kitten. Do you see her or him? I keep calling, <laughs> I keep calling it a girl because my Lily cat was an orange long haired, um, tabby cat. And so I just uh, automatically call orange cats girls, but I know that it's actually pretty rare to have an orange female tabby cat. And the likelihood is both of these orange babies are boys regardless um, in the storm we had my arbor fall down it wasn't secured and it needs to be like rebarred into place so I was gonna go pick it up before I showed y'all and then I just decided y'all are getting the real raw tour today so the garden as it actually looks kittens fallen arbors and all let's go she's just sitting down here where he mama cat is And trying to just come out and sit quietly with them so they'll get more used to me. It hasn't been working so far, but they're not running away right now. Maybe it's working a little. Back to the garden. You might have to do the tour very quietly today. All right, starting the tour at the Fallen Arbor. I still need to move all of the rocks from the current weed pile back to the path. Uh, but at this point, I'm just waiting for cooler weather because why not? Now, while some things are struggling, most of the annuals struggle this time of the year and need to be cut back and fertilized really bad. Um, there are a few things that are doing well, like this rose. This is, of course, one of my David Austins. I believe the Emily Bronte, but I will put it up on the screen if that is wrong. My one <laughs> pink chiffon rose of Sharon that we planted from a stick. It's growing really well. My little tree is doing well. My pop star hydrangea is doing well, and you can see has started to put out new blooms to replace the old blooms although it looks like this whole stick has died for some reason but that's gonna be a new bloom so you know these roses just had a whole flush and I deadheaded them Ooh, I really wanted to pick this up so you can see where mom got this on Facebook marketplace and the lady we got it from had tried to replace this with or fix this with some packing tape 
we're gonna take these flimsy pieces out and replace them with rebar all the way down. And that will be much sturdier, which will be nice. My large twist and shot hydrangea is doing well. Everything over here starting to either go back a little bit, like these lilies need to be cut back. Yesterday I had a really pretty tiger lily for you. Um, and my mums are just starting to bud out. I cut them back and they are shooting up their buds for fall, which is crazy. It is July, little mum. Had so much wind and rain. Oh. Look at the bee on my comb flower. It's so cute. My oak leaf, the blooms are done, but the plant itself looks gorgeous. Some mums that were cut back at a more appropriate time, you can see are just covered in buds. I have a really pretty show there, so that's nice. My little butterfly bush. Now in the flower beds, some things are doing better than others, but let's show you first. Ooh. These are my peach sorbet blueberries and they are still giving us blueberries, which is nice. I just harvested a whole bunch yesterday. Probably don't have a lot today. This blueberry uh, bush is done fruiting for the season, but you can see it is pushing a lot of new growth. My pink cashmere, verbena, probably needs to be deadheaded, but it is putting out new buds and blooms and will hopefully fill out this whole pot by the end of the season. These three were just recently planted. Ooh. Here is pink chiffon. There's a Sharon from last year. So this was a stick the size of the first one last season. This was a plant that we planted last season. And you can see she is still covered in buds. I love these because they're supposed to get huge, like three by six and bloom for a very long time. This is my actual hibiscus that we transplanted and she loves it so much better here. This is the first year that she bloomed in like three years and look, she's putting out new shoots, new stalks, new buds. She has been blooming all season, which is great. The best looking bubble gum in my garden. Here is my desert orchid. I love this tree and oh, gotta focus on what I'm filming. Planted her to help the soil from going down and falling into the garden beds. And it is working because we just had that huge storm knocked over the arbor, but there's no sand in the garden bed. And she has these beautiful Orchid slash snapdragon blooms. Oh, she should become a giant tree if she likes it here. So there you go. In the raised beds. The coral tassel amaranth is amaranthine. All over the place. I grew these from seed, which is nice. I probably need to cut them um, and let them keep growing. Some of these other things are still growing. This is status, but haven't flourished. The zinnias, they are flourishing. My sweet alyssum at the front just died out. The gumfrina are doing well, but I planted these same variety last year and they like went nuts. And I've got like single stalks this year. You just never know how things are gonna do from season to season sometimes. Oh, this baby needs another cutback. This is the Queen of Sweden. And look how tall she's gotten and still has more buds. But that is a David Austin Rose. I definitely want to underplant her with something next year. Um, and we'll have to cut her back really nicely next year so that we get a bushier plant 
this plant tends to be a great option for under a window because she goes straight up and the blooms, which are cabbage blooms, are visible from the top. They hold their weight and their heads up really well. So I do think she will bush out, but she will also be a little more uh, slender than uh, other roses. So definitely this is her first year, first season, loves her spot with a little pruning. She'll get a little bigger next year, a little fuller, and we will continue to just love on her because she's so pretty. All the kittens are on the porch, I think. I don't see the little gray one, but they've moved. We are now on this side of the porch where I am. Let's see. There's the darker orange one. I don't see the gray one. But it seems like it's gonna rain any minute now. So let's get through the tour. Our tomato plant is a uh, tomatoine, but I think she's just about done for the season. Our bean plants are getting eaten by something. And our onions and carrots came up and then died. I think they just, they do better in the cool season. So we might plant another crop of those for the cool season. Now what's loving their life are the zinnias. I do need to come out here and deadhead them because we are getting a whole bunch of new blooms and I need to come in and take the old blooms. But look at these double purples. I mean, the pinks are pretty too. But the double purples are so big. I think these are the giant purple enchantress. I have to look it up. Oh, look at that one. Now, I did just cut back all the cosmos because they falling over really bad in the storm. So they look a little funky. But as you can see by the blooms, they are still growing and they're going to come back. They just may come back a little more tilted to the left. But this entire bed of Cosmos self-seeded itself from last year. So, you know, that's all free flowers. What's doing the best in the garden is my Jane Magnolia tree, this specific sweet alyssum, and this pink bubblegum petunia. The gumfrinas down here are also doing way better than the ones up the hill. Like, see how full these are? They're not just one stalk crazy. I do want to show you before we go my little lime punches. Some are doing better than others, but they are all still doing okay. I did come through and uh, deadheaded the blooms that weren't looking so good to give the plant a better shot. It's just so hot right now for new plants. You can see I haven't deadheaded all of this one. This one that had no blooms at all is doing the best and looks super healthy all the way through. So go figure. Sometimes it makes no sense which plant does the best. I would imagine it's because it didn't have blooms to support. Um, but I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it too much. As long as the plants survive, they will put out new blooms and thrive next year even if they're not thriving this year. Just gotta get them to next year. <laughs> All right, my pot mixture is starting to look nicer. I am trying to fill up this big expansive wall, but on the walk over there, have redirected a bunch of the watermelons back into the bed. But this one is the furthest watermelon along, so I'm just kind of letting them live there can see though I mean these are the sugar baby watermelons we grow from seed and they are they love the heat they start to take off this time of year well that one's rotted we better get rid of that one then our cucumbers I just weeded this bed and it is more weeds I didn't see and this cucumber that was doing fine
Oh my goodness. They are watching me do this tour, you guys. Um, we just need to clean up this whole bed. It looks like only one of our cucumber plants is like truly thriving right now. And that's okay. But honestly, by now I usually have so many cucumbers that I am tired of eating them. And I haven't had a single one this season. So I'm not sure what's going on with that, but I'm not thrilled about it. My dahlias, on the other hand, need a little bit of support. This one, I hope it's not broken. No, just needs a stake. So I need to come out here and do that. But they are getting buds, you guys. So. Whew. Candy cane rose has so many buds on it. Goodness gracious. It's so pretty. My milkweed is doing well, even if only one of them came back. Uh, my hibiscus, when it does bloom, is glorious. The zinnias have all fallen over. This plant is actually has lots of buds and is really full, but not a lot of blooms. And my petunia. Dirt. My antenna. This Rose of Sharon was literally blooming yesterday, but look how many buds are still on it. Let's be really quiet and see how close we can get to the kitten. Butterfly garden. The uh, swallowtails ate all the dill and parsley, so she looks really sad now, but it's the whole point of the garden, so. They're this close. The Gara got cut back last month and is getting ready to bloom again. The uh, cone flowers have all collapsed and probably need to be deadheaded, but they have self seeded in the path. Uh, I'm just letting them grow so that I can move them into the garden. I have ugly shoes on that I just got because I have a leg injury and they're working the best. Hi. You want to go to the vet? Just come see me and I'll take you. I just want to bring them and get them some help. show you this half the garden but um everything over here is on the struggle bus together the lavender is driving the train it's just too hot right now and so this time of year we just limp everything along most of it will come back when it cools off but we do need to just keep deadheading and fertilizing deadheading fertilizing weeding only thing that likes it this time of year are the coneflowers, the zinnias, the lantana. Look how pretty that is. The Silver Falls Diachondra is doing well. This standard 
limelight hydrangea is doing well. And while it needs to be moved over and, oh, the gray kitten was right there. She went under the porch. Sorry, kitty, I didn't know you were there. Um, <laughs> well, the other ones are on the struggle bus. This one is doing fabulous. Still has all her blooms, got them the same time. And while it's not going to stay here forever, I have my extra drip here. This is getting watered consistently and it smells so good. Oh man, look at the Silver Falls Diachondra in the window box. The petunias are struggling. They need some fertilizer. That Silver Falls is doing fabulous. My lace cap is putting out new blooms over here as well. Oh, there was another kitten. Did you see him? That was the bright orange one. I'm going to guess they're not visible. Nope. Oh, I gotta get back inside. I'm scaring them too much. Petunias here are all struggling. The verbena is doing pretty well, but probably needs deadheaded. These cone flowers are probably at the end of their season. That's okay. Um, this petunia is the worst one in the whole garden. <laughs> Almost mom season and these two in the pots will come out, but this one isn't even as bad. Like it's not great, but it's not terrible. Oh, you know, we've still got green. We've still got flowers. This petunia is not on the bus bust yet. This weed's not on the bus. <sighs> Damn it. This is the bad weed. How did it get this big? So these, if you have these grow in your area, all of these little pods on the underside are seeds. So if you drop any of those, they will make new weeds. Typically, I pick them up and throw them right in the trash, but I don't have a bag, so we're just going to go put it in the woods. Oh, man, that's a whole hole. What is going on out here? All right, just a second. All right, so the daisies aren't doing terrible, but they don't really have any blooms on them, so maybe later. This butterfly bush needs a little love, but it's green. The mums are doing well. Again, I planted these same gumfrena here last year and they filled in this whole area. And they're just one stick. Lantana taken over. This is all lantana. Uh, the gara back here is doing well. It's small because this was the first year, but it's doing well. And the pin cushions I planted around this tree, not pin cushion. They didn't get enough sun. Maybe they didn't get enough water. I think I might try to move those cone flowers down around this tree because cone flowers tend to do well everywhere in my garden down here. Moving into the shade part of the garden in a couple feet, we've got another lantana. Vinca that aren't doing terrible, but just everything's struggling to bloom this time of year. Salvia, butterfly bush, these cone flowers that seeded themselves are blooming even in the shade. So that's what I'm saying when I say the cone flowers love it everywhere. So the uh, Dianthus that we were experimenting with are not blooming, but they are alive down there. All gone here. Peonies still growing. All my cyclamen are coming up. Those will start to bloom in the fall, but I do need to come down here and weed because just lots of weeds. And the Silver Falls is doing well, but really spreading out. <laughs> That's funny. And there we go. That is the end of the garden. We've got Salvia, Hydrangea. This is the biggest the Hydrangea's ever been. And my Vitex is getting bigger, if not thriving, so.
July and August are the hottest months of the year here and the biggest struggle for my garden. So I almost don't even do tours this month except to show you that it's just not a good month. And even in a good month, there are minutes of really pretty things. The zinnias are doing really well, the lantana, that pink double raspberry coneflower, the best I've ever seen it. So, you know, plus you might grow kittens. So get outside and check on the garden, even if you're not staying a long time. <laughs> you never know what you'll find. Apparently the grass is struggling as well. I'm going to go inside where it is cooler and take a break. Uh, hopefully by next month we have some work on the kittens. I just I think they need flea medicine and vaccinations. The poor babies, but they don't want anything to do with me. So leave, leave some notes down below um, and I will see y'all next time. Bye.